Hey guys, welcome to the Foundation Channel. I am Tanya Cortez, and on this channel, I talk about everything foundation and complexion for more mature skin. All right, guys, so I hope you saw the video from yesterday, and we did a wear test and first impression on the foundation stick. So today, we're going to try her sister, and this is the Fashion Fair uh, Cream to Powder uh, Foundation. So let's hope we have a better experience than we did yesterday because well i i didn't take it off right after the wear test i left it on for uh, maybe four more hours after that video and it's a hard no for me it's a hard no for me not even going to get into it but it's just not a good foundation for me maybe somebody else but not for me so we're gonna go ahead and try her sister to see if we have better luck with this one because this one is supposed to be this one is supposed to be more for oily skin. So let's try this and see what happens. So if you guys want to see what this looks like on the skin, then stay tuned. Roll the credits. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the Fashion Fair Cream to Powder Foundation. I got it in the color Fine Chestnut, just like the um, foundation stick. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the vitals. We're gonna get right into this. All right, so it is $37. It has 16 shades, 14 shades, sorry. And some of the highlights, it's a cream formula, natural finish, fragrance-free, medium coverage, vitamin C, cruelty-free. It is for normal to oily skin, and it is medium coverage. So it's not claiming to be full, so we're not going to build it up to see if it can get full either. <laughs> so um, we'll be able to tell when we put it on our face. But those are the vitals, uh, vitals the ingredients all of that kind of stuff as on the Sephora website if you guys want to see that, all right? So now what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and swatch this. But what I'm going to do just for entertainment, let me remind you guys to see if these colors are transferring the same. So this is the stick and this is the, and it looks like it's sweating a little bit or something. And this is the stick. So it looks like it's a little bit different. So I'm going to put the stick right here. Can you see that? Yep. All right, and I'm gonna put the stick there. And, and this is really, oof, this is like really, really oily like. And then this is the cream to powder. So it looks like this one is a little, I don't know, orange or the undertone is a little different, what you guys think? I don't know, but that's what that one looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do, try to get this on with a brush first and then um, we'll go from there. So, but before we get started, we're gonna look at this texture cause this is what we are working with, okay? We're gonna see how this really looks on the texture. So this is um, the texture on this side. I have hyperpigmentation, fine lines, some wrinkles up there at the eyes, um, some large pores. Mature skin, I got some raised moles all in there too. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. I'm gonna still use the Mike, uh, Milk Hydra Grit Primer, just like yesterday when we used it the first time. Now, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's hope this is more successful than her sister. All right, so this has, let me show y'all the compact. This has that flip side with the sponge, just like that little Gucci situation. If you've seen that, you know, very nice, very shiny, pretty. So let's go ahead and get this on the skin. I'm gonna start with this side first. Let's see. Um. So this is going on really bomb-like. This is really like a... And usually every cream to powder that I've used 
has gone on a little different. So let me just get this on. Now it's not going on as smooth as the stick. And it doesn't look like the shade is transferring the same either. This shade looks a little different. Um, it's really, really sheer uh, right now. So, cause it's not covering much, not covering much at all right now. So this is just this side. Now let's go ahead and try to do this side. And this is this side. All right, so this um, actually feels a little like, mm, I don't wanna say greasy, but it is going on real bomb-like. Um, I'm wondering, is it gonna be better off with a sponge, putting this on with a sponge? So what does that look like? This shade is different. I don't know that I like this shade at all. It kind of has a little bit of a reddish tinge to it. Let's turn these lights down and see what this is looking like on this texture. Let's see. The shade and the natural light. I still just have a light right here, but, and you know guys, I always concentrate on this side because it's the telltale sign. This would tell me if, <laughs> It's gonna work or not. If it deals with this texture, cause I don't have as much over here as you can see. So if it deals with this right here, you know, then we might be in business. All right, so this is what it's looking like. It's really, really sheer, really sheer. It's looking like I might have to go ahead and put a little bit more, it's not covering. It's not covering much at all. Let's try and put some more on. I'm gonna go directly in with the sponge. Hmm. I don't know if I like this shade is not the same. This is not definitely not the, sh the same. This is saying it's for oily skin, and it might be, <laughs> but it might not be for this texture. <gasps> Y'all, I don't think I like this from the gate, from the beginning. Like, I'm not saying it wouldn't be good, but I just feel like I don't like it on my texture. Like, I don't like the way it is looking on my texture. And this is what a little bit more, it is giving you medium coverage though, it really is. If if you don't have your dark marks aren't at your hyperpigmentation isn't that bad, then this is gonna cover it. But for mine, it's not really covering it. And I have a little mark right there and it's not covering it. So, so this is what it looks like set. And I set it with um, the Gucci powder. Uh, because I set it with this, this is fairly light, this powder and it's in 10. Because of the shade of this, I felt like I would, um, that it would be all right setting it with this, kind of counteract some of that red. Cause it really, you probably, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks pretty, it was looking pretty red, a little orange or something. It looks really good now that you set it. it looks pretty good. It's not covering a whole lot on me. Doesn't mean it won't cover a whole lot on you. I have some some good hyperpigmentation. You know, some stuff that's been there for a long time. So it didn't cook then good. <laughs> so um, this is the face, what the face is gonna be when I'm out. I'm gonna do this wear test, I'm gonna come back. It actually looks a little bit better initially than it did with the stick when I started yesterday. So we're gonna see how this works out and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna stay out as long. I'm gonna be out for a long time, so I'll be back. So hopefully we can get a good wear test out of this. Okay, I'll be back. All 
All right, guys, I'm back and I'm shook. I will say that, you know, I'm going to eat crow a little bit, just a little bit, but eat some crow. Now, I've had this on for about six hours, around the same amount of time that I had the stick on. I um, wanted to give it a fair shake, okay? So, as you can see, I got a little oily. I did break through with my oil, but nothing like the foundation stick. Nothing like it at all. And look at this side. The pores actually don't look, I mean, the texture actually doesn't look bad on this side. Look a little oily, looks a little, you can see the pores and you can see the texture. Not, no, nothing as bad as yesterday. On this side, of course, I have more texture, more larger pores, that kind of thing. So you can see this to be accented pretty good. And around in my folds, it didn't rest as bad as the foundation stick. This is going to be a no for me, only because I don't like the way it looks on my texture. But if you have texture on your skin and it's not a whole lot, you really could get away with it and it look nice if you want to touch up or whatever. So I'm going to run the brush. This is just a regular brush, dry brush. I didn't put no more powder on there. And see, like, you know, you can touch up and it'll look okay. But I still just don't like the way my texture looks with this. But if you have normal oily skin, not a lot of texture. I think you'll like this. I think you'll like the foundation stick as well. But if you're trying to decide which one you should try first, I think that you should try this first. Okay. Depending on if you have dry skin, you might want to try the foundation stick first. It is worth a shot. Go pick it up. If you don't like it, just take it back. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video. Please subscribe and follow me on all my social medias. And again, just remember, stay safe and it all starts with the base. Bye.